What's going on people, it's your boy Neeks and we've got to talk about West Indies, we really do. Finished the ODI series against Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka and we've been we've been whitewashed. Whitewashed, clean sweep, 3-0. And frankly, it's just not good enough. Yep. On the back of um, you know, beating Ireland, putting a good showing against India, we've gone over to Sri Lanka with a chance to rise in the rankings, and we've been whitewashed. We've been, like I did this. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see this coming. I did not see this coming. I thought we'd be able to build on the performances of recent, build on that performance that that series in India. We've been, we've been cast aside. Like some of the games were close. <clears throat> don't get me wrong, but we were just always behind the eight ball. We were just always behind the eight ball. Um, starting with the first game, we batted first, two hundred eighty nine for seven. We made, um, and it's it's a, it's a decent score. I would say in this day and age, you want to be getting three hundred. Um, as near minimum you might say um because that's just the the way cricket is now 280 i don't know 10 10 years ago 10 15 years ago would have been a very good score but really 300 these days is what you it's, it's par really it's a minimum because people are chasing down scores 350 400 we've seen 450 be chased before but two, 290, 289, 290 is a decent score. Defendable. But not when you bowl how we do. We can barely defend 300. Bowling how we do. So we made 289. Um, Shea Hope with 115 of 140 balls. Um, good innings. You feel like when someone gets a century, you want them to go a bit quick in this day and age again. In this day and age, go a bit quicker than he has. But 115 at 82 strike rate is not bad. It's really not. It's I would say that is that's the minimum he needs to be going at 80, 80 strike rate. But what 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 is around him? Who's supporting him? So we've got Ambrose opening. Of course, was Evan Lewis didn't um Passes fitness test, neither did Shimon Hetmeyer. You got Ambrose opening. And you have to ask, what's Ambrose's role? What is Ambrose's role in this team? Because if you've got Shea Hope anchoring the innings, his aim is to bat through. You can't have an opening batsman beside him doing the same thing. You got a power play, 10 overs, the field is up. You need to be scoring as much runs as possible. You want to be getting minimum 60 runs in that power play. Um, realistically, you want to be really going for, as a 60 minimum, if you can get 80, that's brilliant. But, you've got Ambrose batting slow, then the next person to come in is Darren Bravo. Darren Bravo's not a, you might say a pinch hitter, a big hitter. But you've got him coming in, Within the power play, you got him and Shea Hope, who are both stroke makers. Neither of them are big hitters, but you want you supposed to be trying to take advantage of the power play. And the next person after that is Roston Chase. You got four Test batsmen opening your innings. Like this is 2020. We need to wake up. Yeah, we can do T T20. We just pack our side with big hitters and swing from the hip. ODI, 50 over, 50 over cricket takes a bit more craft. You need to know when to go big, when to slow down, when to rotate the strike. But we just go from one extreme to the next. It's really poor. How do you have Hope Ambrose, Darren Bravo, and Roston Chase as your top four in an ODI game? It doesn't make any sense. Then you bring bring in uh, Pora, and he comes in with 10... 10 uh, 15 overs to go. 
And yes, it's enough time for him to you know build it in as and go big. But if anything, you want him higher up. Because he can hit big, but he can also build an innings. But you bring him in at that stage, and he's got now the pressure to score quickly. Now, Ross and Chase didn't do too bad, 41 or 45. But everyone else that comes after now has to tr kind of hit from the, hit the off, from the off. In the end, it was only because Kimo Paul and Hayden Walsh, they were going at over 180 strike rate, 200 strike rate. Why we got to the school we did. It's not good enough. The planning is not good enough. And then you see the difference between us and Sri Lanka. And they're, they're 100, and, 100 for 1 before they lost that. Well, 100 without a loss before they lost the first wicket, 111. They're opening back, two batsmen going at 90. The next batsman going at 80 strike rate. Next one at 80. 125, 145, like these, this is proper ODI cricket, controlled aggression. But we can't seem to get the balance. It's block, block, six, block, block out. And it's, just, it's the same thing that's been plaguing us for ages. We can't get the balance right, the team, which already puts us behind the eight ball. So we're playing catch up from the, from the start of the game. It's not good enough. And the bowling. Now, big up Alzari Joseph in it. Big up because he was fantastic throughout the series. Um, I think he picked up minimum three wickets in every every game. I don't know why he's not opening the bowling. Um, Sheldon Cottrell didn't have a good series at all. Uh, he barely picked up many wickets. Very expensive opening at, at the back end. Um, Jason Holder. Jason Holder's a talented cricketer. He's a talented cricketer. All-rounder, batsman, bowler. Competent at both. But when it comes to his bowling, and to be fair, his batting these days ain't even, ain't even standing up. But when it comes to his bowling, he, he doesn't seem to have a plan. Like, Kyron Pollard is nowhere near the level quality bowler of Jason Holder. But he seems to have a plan. How what I want to do. I want to pitch it up because you know I've got the field uh down uh back on the boundary straight. Or I'm gonna pitch it short because I've got cover square of the wicket. And because he's not a great bowler, the execution of what he's trying to do might not come off. But you can see he's trying to bowl to a plan. Jason Holder doesn't seem to be able to bowl to a plan. It's length, it's short, it's wide, it's pitched up. It's a mixed bag. Yes, he's a good, good quality bowler, so he gets on good balls and get a few wickets. But for someone of his ability, we expect much more now, especially when you got him opening the bowling. So you're coming in the power play. He has some real discipline. I just don't think he's disciplined enough. For the ability that he possesses. And uh, it's, it's been, you know, he was, he was dropped from the ODI side at one point. He'd been dropped from the T20 side. Um, it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. So we lost the first game by, in the end, it was one wicket. As I said, we came back into it. Alzari Joseph, Alzari Joseph so he picked up three. Uh, Kimo Paul, he picked up two. Hayden Walsh, he was expensive, but he picked up two as well. Um, and yeah, we came back into the game. Fortunately, they they lost a, a number of wickets late on, and we had a chance. But again, in this game, everyone can seem to hit big, and we just gave away too many runs early on, and we were just playing catch up. And yeah, they won by one wicket, but they won with five balls to spare. Um, second game, I mean, this was just annihilation. Sri Lanka batted first, 345 for eight. And everything that I just spoke about, it was exasperate, exasperated in this game. There are two centuries. We had Jason Holder going at seven. Sheldon Cottrell, my mistake, he did get four wickets, but he was going at nearly seven and over. Um, Alzari Joseph, again, he picked up three. He was the pick of the bowlers, three for 57. 
But everyone else. Fabian Allen, 6. Kimo Paul, 8. Kyron Pollard, 9. We dropped Hayden Walsh, and I don't understand. You can't go into an ODI, get a limited of his game, and you've got a wrist spinner. And you don't play your wrist spinner. A wrist spinner, yes, he may be expensive. In the last game, as I said, he he went for seven, but he picked up two or three wickets. Three wickets, I think it was. A wrist spinner, yes, he can be expensive, but he's a wicket-taking bowler, especially in the middle. We had them at nine for two. Cottrell, two wickets early. The next wicket came 248 for three in the 40th over. We didn't get a wicket for 38 overs. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. You pack your side with batting. So you bring in Fabian Allen and you think him and Russian Chase is good enough in, in, in the subcontinent. You've got a wrist spinner in your in your arsenal. Took three wickets in the first. What, what's that even going to do to his confidence? Yes, he went for runs, but he took three wickets. Nearly came back and won the game. And you drop him. He's been good since he's coming to the side after the CPL. Again, the balance of the team is all wrong. It's all 340 secret to chase. It was always going to be difficult. Always. Again, you've got Hope, Ambrose, Bravo, Chase. As a top four. Neither of them got a higher strike, strike rate over 70 or over, over 80. Hope was 78. Ambrose 70. Bravo 69. Chase 66. And then you then you got Poran coming in. Poran came in at, at number five. After 25 overs. And you're expecting him and Pollard. To hit us to a, to chase down 346. The balance of the side is all wrong. We're playing test match cricket. In an ODI game. It's poor. The selection is so poor. You have to question Pollard. He's a, he's a captain. Surely he has a say on the selections panel. That four, that opening four has no place in limited over cricket. Hope, Ambrose, Bravo. Ch Who's even hitting the sixes? I thought that would maybe be Ambrose's job. We didn't hit a six in the game. I know it was a big ground to be fair. Sri Lanka didn't hit any sixes. But we didn't hit a six in the game until Fabian Allen right near the end. That is not West Indies when we had the likes of Johnson Charles, obviously Evan Lewis, Chris Gale, Hetmeyer. These people were hitting sixes early in the in, throughout the innings. And now we just got pure test match batsmen trying to chase chase down these huge totals. So we had a, a tight game at first. That we weren't able to get over the line. Battered in the second. Series done. And we get a tight game at the end. But we, we always on the, on the end of the tight games. We're losing. It's just not good enough. Next game, Sri Lanka. Bat first, 307. And we lose by six runs. Um, again, Cottrell. Not good enough. Picked up one wicket. Going at six and over. Holder. Picks up two wickets. Going at seven and over. Alzari Joseph, again the pick of the bowlers, 4 for 65. For me, this was a better balanced team. What about Walsh? Didn't get any wickets, fair enough. But for me, that was a chaseable target, 307. This time, there's a bit more impetus. I think we scored about 60, 60 odd runs in the first 10. Hope going at 81 strike rate. Ambrose gets 60 off 60. Like, I mean, finally, what were you doing in the first two games? Now you decided, oh yeah, let me let me actually take advantage of the power play. 
Like, in that, those 10 overs, you need to get runs or get out. It's, it's really that simple. Get runs or get out. This time we decide to get runs. Other times he's just eating our balls. Then we put poor at number three. It makes more sense. This, this total was lower than the, the second test. So, sorry, second test. Second um, ODI. Yet, yeah, now we're putting the power hitters higher up when we should have been doing that in the second match. But we put poor in at three. Makes sense. He gets 50 or 61. Should have gone on further. Then we got Pollard coming in at four. Makes sense. He gets 49 or 50. He should have gone on further. Bravo didn't do enough. Holder didn't do enough. Allen gets 37 or 15. But it's, in the end, it's just we just keep losing wickets. Keep losing wickets. Um, Allen nearly got us over the line even though he had himself an injury but it did cost us in the field as well and in the bowling he wasn't able to bowl nearly got us over the line but again just not not enough too little too late I would say because that was a very good performance I'm not going to lie it was a good performance and I'm not going to say we were unlucky to lose but it was a close game even closer than the first game it was a close game but if we have played like that in the first game and you build on that, then you have a chance to win the series. If this is the best we're going to play in a series, then we've got no chance. And for me, it shouldn't take three games in a series to realise what team you should pick. Like, you should already know what your best ODI team is already by now. Yes, I know we're coming out of a World Cup, but a World Cup is nearly a year ago now. Well, nine months for free, but nine months. We've had a number of series. India twice. Ireland and now Sri Lanka. And we don't know our best ODI side. We don't know the way to... What tempo to bat, whether you're setting a total or chasing a total. Yes, some of the players are young, but some of them are not. And they're guided by experienced players. There's experienced players around them. But we just seem to be making the same mistakes over and over again. It's, it's, it's poor. I'm not happy. I'm not, I felt that we could have gone to this series and won the series. Based on our last two series. Won the series and moved up the rankings. But we've been completely... Oh, I'm not going to say completely annihilated. But a 3-0 sweep is a 3-0 sweep. And we were swept. And that's the bottom line. Some of the performances individually and, you know, some collective, you can say, all right, well, let's take this and build on it. But for too long, we've been saying, let's take this and build on it, take this and build on it. And now we don't build anything in the end. Careers come and go. We don't build anything in the end. We'll see in it, we'll see. Um, the T20 series has started and I'll do a review of those two uh, T20s once they're complete as we build towards um, the T20 World Cup at the end of the year of course in between all of that we've got a massive series over here in England uh, with England Tess, ODI T20s, the lot but we've got a lot of work to do between now and then guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe button share the video and I'll see you soon